Need to do. Put that amongst my my fate collection. Yes, very very dark and blurry because it's dark room. Yes, yes, very nice. My big ass anime collection. Wait, what was that? Was that mail? Yes, it is. Mail. Go away, creepy golf and ghost video. Uh, there we go. Mail has arrived. If this is what I think it is, then I'm going to be very, very happy. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There we go. Had this bad boy pre-ordered two months ago. And it is finally here, ladies and gentlemen. I ordered this, I think, back in like the 5th of May for a special offer for, I think, like 25 quid. It's gone up to like 35 quid now. Open up. Damn you. Here we are. Our version is better than the American's version. Thank God for that. No, come on. Get me dumbass bubble wrap. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, I can't do this one-handed. Or can I? There we go. Wow. <laughs> That looks beautiful. God, that's one big ass book, though. Wow, look at that! Don't you just love all the anime or anime limited releases? Looks like something out the Men in Black. <laughs> yes. Is the info? Ooh, hundred and sixty page booklet, Japanese and English. 1080p, 5.1. 480p is a DVD, <laughs> really. Okay. Time to take the shrink wrap off or the cellophane, whatever you want to call it. Let's get into unboxing this, shall we? Okay, so after taking the cellophane wrapping off, we are greeted with this beautiful artwork. This is heavy, by the way. Probably because of the book. Now, this is some really bad news for anime fans everywhere. It's not sticky. It doesn't stick onto the back. It's, you know, they should always have it sticky because then you can peel it off or keep it on, you know? And it doesn't get lost that way. I can't actually put this inside either because it's not the box is too small to actually put this in. Matter of time, I can't get a what's that anime? A Noeen. Have you heard of Noeen? It's N O E I N. C X is selling it for eight pounds, but every time they sell it, the info sheet's missing. And the only way to get it with the info sheet is brand new, and it costs like thirty quid on eBay, which I'm not prepared to you know pay. The artwork is really nice, though. She didn't get much progression in the anime. You know, uh, I've got the anime. I've got the old edition of it. But um, I got this for £25. Yeah, as you can see on the right, uh, this is how much I pre-ordered it for. Back in the day, it was £25. And, uh, yeah, it's supposed to come in June, at the very end of June. But then they delayed it again and said it was supposed to be released on the 5th of July, which is stupid as you give a release date and then you change it. So annoying, but it's here. That's the main thing. I'm the first person on YouTube to be actually unboxing the UK version. So we're going to go like that. Really, really nice digipack. Look at that. Really like that. And you've got the blue on the left. DVD on the right. There you go. 
I really like that. Underneath the digipad isn't anything special, I don't think. Would it be nice instead of just a plain red background? But yeah. Never mind. But, uh, still kind of cool. Reminds me of uh, Evangelion in a way. <laughs> This is so blurry. That should do. As far as I know, there's no Blu-ray of this yet. Or DVD. It's just a collector edition. The Blu-ray will probably be released at a later date. This is the Blu-ray I meant, but the standard Blu-ray and the DVD. Look at that. This is massive, by the way. I'm going to do it from back to front. So it's basically, this is kind of cool. Sketches from the actual show or the actual movie. It's kind of cool. Hundred and sixty pages, apparently. And yeah, that is the collector's edition of Eureka 7, High Evolution, Anemone. Now, I, I will be doing a... Uh, I will be doing a complete uh, Eureka 7 Blu-ray collect... Uh, not Blu-ray collectors. A complete Eureka 7 collection uh, unboxing... I unbox the series, the movies, whatever. Because there's a series which has 50 episodes. Then uh, there's uh, the movie uh, Pocket for the Rainbows. We only have a standard Blu-ray. I don't know if the Americans have a collector's edition or not. But we only have the standard Blu-ray. And then after that is uh, uh, AO, the sequel. People say it isn't, but let's be honest, it is. Because both Elreka and Renton are in it. But older, you know, in their late teens. But, uh, yeah, that's AO. We only got a DVD of that, unfortunately, but at least we still got it. And then a High, Le High Evolution 1. And then this movie. I'm not sure if the third one's come out yet. But it should do very soon. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, wait a minute, yeah, I'll only do that entire unboxing if I manage to get High Evolution on Collector's Edition, the first one, because uh, it's going for like 20 quid, but I really don't want to get it because it's a recap movie, but seeing as I've got ab absolutely everything else in Collector's, I've got the movie in the Ultimate Edition, I've got, uh, no, no, I've got the series in the Ultimate Edition, the movie is just a standard Blu-ray, uh, then the, sec uh, the second movie, or High Evolution 1, uh, it's just a collector edition. And, uh, yeah, so I've only got the DVD of High Evolution 1. Hence the reason I haven't done a complete collection unboxing yet. Of everything, you know, a series and the three movies. But one day, when I, you know, get round to buying that, which I'm not in a rush. But when I get round to buying it... High Evolution 1 I'm talking about. This is the second High Evolution, Anemone. The first one, when I get around to unboxing it, it's going for like 20 quid, but I really don't want to pay that for a movie that was literally 10 minutes extra features and then the rest was just an entire recap. Yeah, if you watch uh, the first uh, High Evolution, like I said, I got it on DVD. Uh, the Blu-ray only recently came out. Uh, it, it Basically, they released a DVD, then they released a collector's edition with the Blu-ray, and then they released a standard Blu-ray, like, year, you know, a year or so after that. But we have DVD, Blu-ray, and collector's edition. I just haven't got around to buying a collector's edition, which I should, because I already have this collector's edition, the ultimate edition of the series, and the uh, Pocket Full of Rainbows on standard Blu-ray, which that's all I think you can get, really. But yeah, like I said, I'll do an entire 
Aerodeca 7 collection once I get High Evolution on Collector's Edition. The first High Evolution. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Flying Halucha. Sh bye bye. Okay, so this is the American version. It's nothing too special. They have this like little weird like wrap uh, that goes, you know, you take it out of like a little silvery thing that just dispose of it. It's not part of the actual, you know, Blu ray itself. But it's just like a weird little wrap that comes with it, like a little silver little thing. Sort of looks like what you get with Pokemon cards when you take the, you know, wrapping off. But it's nothing compared to our version. We've got booklets, they haven't. They haven't even got art cards with theirs. But thankfully, we have a release that's better than theirs. This is really nice. Thank you, all the anime. I really like this release. I haven't watched it yet. Obviously, I haven't watched this uh, film yet. I only just got it through the post. A few minutes ago, but <laughs> I'll get round to watching it, don't worry. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the Flanker Lucha. Shoot, bye bye.